Hello everybody. I am pleased to welcome you to a new video of mine. Today we are exploring the French fragrance brand, Marlou Paris. I certainly enjoy their fragrances, and I'd bet on you doing too. Please stay tuned if you'd like to know more. Before I get into the fragrances, I have to clarify that the perfumes were not bought by me. Rather, Briac over at Marlou Paris sent me their sample set, containing mini vials of all their fragrances. Thanks to him and the Marlou team, I can review this and give you guys my take on their spectacular fragrances. Thank you very much for this gift. With that out of the way, shall we begin? At the time of this video's release, Marlou Paris has a lineup of four fragrances. Ambilix, Carnicure, Corpalium, and Padrextase. Let's begin with Padrextase, my personal favorite. The notes of this exquisite creation are as follows. Rice powder, rose, cypress, tonka bean and civet. Now, do not fret the inclusion of civet, for this civet is soft on the palate and does not strike me as skanky in the least. In my mind, this conjures up the image of a dry rose dipped in vanilla cream, and I love it. The projection is moderate, and so is the longevity. It definitely doesn't suit all occasions, so don't bring this to school or your workplace. Next up is Carnicure. With notes of orange blossom, violet, civet, patchouli, sandalwood, labdanum and musk, it captured my heart and senses. And once again, the notes are deceiving, because I had predicted this one to be dark and heavy, while it is in fact light, and somewhat sweet. Now, it must be said that in this one the civet is more apparent, and creates a smell that might remind you of a wet cat's fur, or even piss. But the perfume is composed so well that the piss smells, good. Cumin, Helichrysum, more commonly referred to as Immortel, Ylang Ylang, Incense, and Costas, make up the notes of the next fragrance, Ambilex. This is a lovely fragrance for sure. Fresh and spicy, smoky, woody and leathery, and again, some unexplainable sweetness. I love how round and full of life every fragrance from this brand is. Sensuality in a bottle is how I would describe this fragrance. Last in the Marlou fragrance lineup is Corpalium. Now, to be frank, I do not particularly enjoy this fragrance. I believe it is the presence of fenugreek that makes my senses go haywire. To me and on my skin it smells like old piss. I know from experience that fenugreek reacts poorly with my skin, so I am aware that it should be more tolerable on other people's skin. I do recognize that this is a masterful creation, however. It is as round and multifaceted as the other fragrances I've mentioned, so although I won't pick up a full bottle of this one, I am glad to have smelled and experienced its story. And that's it. Overall, I am much pleased with the fragrances, and would like to once again send my heartfelt gratitude to the Marlou Paris team. Hopefully they are up to something great behind the scenes. Thank you guys for tuning in, and see you in the next one. Bye.